There is so much being done to better understand, identify, and treat Parkinson's. And the field is closer than ever to preventing the disease altogether. Joining us to discuss better brain health and Parkinson's disease from the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research is Dr. Rachel Dolan. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Doctor. What is the current state of Parkinson's disease? How many people are diagnosed and how many people are living with it? Well, Parkinson's is a brain disorder that affects movement, so it causes shaking, slowness, stiffness, sometimes also walking and balance problems. And there are about one million people in the United States who are living with Parkinson's, and about 60,000 will be diagnosed new each year. The high number. So are there any key indicators to look out for? Maybe some symptoms our audience might be surprised to learn about. Many people are very surprised to learn that Parkinson's is much more than movement changes. And some of those non-movement symptoms can be some of the earliest signs of the disease. So in some people, those can look like acting out your dreams while you're sleeping, yelling, thrashing, kicking, punching while you're sleeping, losing your sense of smell, feeling constipated, having mood changes. All of these can be very early signs of Parkinson's preceding the motor symptoms by years or even decades in some people. Yeah, so tell us about the new study that is helping change how patients, families, doctors, and scientists think about brain disease. The Michael J. Fox Foundation's PPMI research study is really helping researchers understand so much more about brain health and Parkinson's. So it's helping scientists see how Parkinson's comes on from the very earliest moments, how it changes over time, as well as who gets Parkinson's, so that we can develop better treatments and ultimately prevent the disease from happening. This study is open to people around the United States, age 18 and over, both with and with without Parkinson's. And for most, it involves simply taking online questionnaires about your health. Some people will be invited into clinic, and there are 50 clinic sites around the United States that are hosting PPMI, including one in Houston at Baylor College of Medicine. And you mentioned just now people with and without Parkinson's. Why is research participation from both people so important? The more people that we have participating in research, the faster we'll get to answers. And people without Parkinson's can make unique contributions to helping researchers understand what's normal happening with aging, what's instead Parkinson's disease, and also what are those risk factors that we may not yet have identified that help us understand how Parkinson's comes on from its very earliest moments so that we can ultimately prevent the disease. That is very important. So Dr. Dolan, where can uh, people at home go for more information on all of this. You can learn more and you can get involved at michaeljfox.org slash ppmi. Well, thank you so much for joining us today and telling us about that important information.